we have some real problems here. Um, there is a massive jurisdiction issue, and I don't think we can just gloss it over. You know? um, companies aren't going to say, uh, you know, if, if, so Bruce hands over his personal information here, I scramble it and throw it into a jurisdiction over there. There it is, because that's convenient and that's cheap. I'll, scr I'll, I'll throw another one over there to another jurisdiction to mirror it, or perhaps for third-party purposes. I, Bruce then asks me, where's my information? Hey, where's my data? Hey, Bruce, we can't tell you. And the reason we can't tell Bruce where his data is is, uh, is because of either commercial uh, secrecy or because of the B2B agreements that have been made with the third parties. Now, we're not going to get over this one, and one of the reasons we're not is a formula, I will guarantee you, is the more complex cloud becomes and the more complex the, the, the data flows, the more law enforcement agencies and security agencies and courts are going to go after classes of discovery. Look at eBay, for example. Uh, eBay in Canada, Revenue Canada, went after eBay's uh, top sellers. Many, many thousands of them. Did they do it by name? No, they had no idea who they were because the data, did, the data didn't even reside in Canada. Okay? So they went after the entire class of super sellers from eBay. You're going to see that as a trend the more cloud escalates. Once it's out of the immediate jurisdiction of authorities, they will go for an entire class of data in another country under any number of international agreements. This is going to be a major problem.